Okay, Olivia, we've talked about the vicious cycle of depression so far, and we've looked at how, uh, I guess, inactivity and withdrawal can really keep our depressed mood going. So in terms of wrapping up today's session, I thought we could spend a little bit of time um, with me introducing to you the homework for this week. How does that sound to you? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, okay, great. I was hoping that we could do a little bit of monitoring about your week. Um, one of the things that we know about monitoring is it helps to build our awareness mm -hmm. about what goes on in a day-to-day -day basis. Oftentimes when we're depressed, uh, a lot of time can pass by and we might have uh, missed out on the little details about what happens in our day. Mm -hmm. So monitoring is a way of being able to record some of those activities that we are getting in our day so that we can establish some patterns between the activities that we do and the impact that it's having on our mood. Is that something you'd like to hear more about? Yeah, yeah we can have a look at that. Okay, yeah. that's great. So what I've got with me is something that we call a weekly activity schedule. And I'll talk you through and then give you a bit of a chance to go through it before we wrap up today. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, this is like a timetable. You can see the times on the left hand um, column and you can change the times that are on the column as you want. At this point, what's on the worksheet is that it goes from 8 a.m. all the way to 12 a.m. Right. Um, depending on what your sleep routines are mm. like at the moment, feel free to, um, I guess, change the times, okay? What we want to do is capture what your day looks like. And so across the different columns, you'll see there's Monday to Sunday. Um, and I'll invite you to record the different activities that you do from the time that you wake up on each day to the time that you go to bed. Is that making sense so far? Yeah, yeah, I think I get it. Okay. Uh, there are a few things that I encourage you to keep in mind when you're doing this recording. So one of the things that can happen when we're feeling depressed is that we might get through the day and um, have this feeling that we've done nothing in the day. Yeah, well, I was going to say that's kind of what it seems like at the moment. I don't really do anything, so I'm not really sure what I'd be recording. Yeah, and that's totally understandable. It comes back to that inactivity we talked about with depression. Yeah. So one of the things that I want to invite you to try this week mm -hmm. is to tune in to what exactly you're doing when you think that you're doing nothing. So that could be, for example, sitting on the couch and watching TV all day, mm -hmm or lying in bed all day. Let's see if you can have a go at filling me in yesterday. Um, gosh, well, uh, I, I, I don't even think I, I did probably didn't wake up until like 11 or something. So would I just, like, do I just put like asleep or in bed or yeah. something? Yep. Okay, all right, okay. Um, do you remember what you did when you woke up? I think like usually when I wake up, uh, I don't even know how long I do this for, but I, I tend to just kind of lie there scrolling on my phone, you know, checking Facebook, mm. things like that. Okay. Sometimes for like, I don't know, an hour or something, time just kind of goes. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's capture that on the schedule. Okay. So you could put something like scrolling on the phone okay. in bed and what happened after? I think I, I think I basically got out of bed because I was, yeah, I was hungry. As you see, when I get out of bed, um, mm -hmm. so I got some, some breakfast. That might have been around midday, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Definitely pop that down because uh -huh. we want the schedule to reflect our routines as well, and that includes our sleep, um, things like meal times as well. Mm -hmm. okay. What okay. happened after breakfast? I know uh, I, it's really hard to remember. I know I had stuff to do around the house. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it anywhere near as much as I was supposed to, but I mm -hmm. uh, got this massive pile of stuff to get through. But I, I think maybe I did a load of washing or something like that. Yeah, that's right. I did do a load of washing because I basically had run out of clothes. So mm -hmm. um, I did that, but then I felt pretty exhausted mm. um, 
So I, I just kind of went and sat on the couch and yeah, I, I find it really hard to remember exactly when things happened or. Mm. And that's really understandable, Olivia. We've talked about how one of the symptoms of depression is that our concentration gets quite difficult, that our even our memory might get quite hazy. Mm. And so one of the benefits that can come from monitoring is that we start to tune in and pay attention to these aspects mm. of our day and hopefully be able to build that attention back up so that we can make choices about our day in ways that are more effective for us. Yeah. With our activity schedule, we're not aiming for a minute by minute account of what's happened in mm -hmm. your week. We're really wanting to get a snapshot. So there might be times in which you aren't able to capture the specific times. Right, okay. A rough guide will do. Okay. So in terms of watching Netflix, roughly how many hours did you spend doing that? Um, and how can we write that in your schedule? I guess maybe like one until probably about five o'clock I might have got hungry. Okay. So, so block that time out. Um, yeah between one and five mm -hmm. and then you mentioned you ordered some uber eats yeah, yeah. so yeah. put that down okay. as well all right what happened in the evening well i was feeling pretty bad i was feeling like i haven't done anything today and i'm supposed to be looking for jobs so i mm -hmm. went online to do this job search thing but then i ended up just i don't know looking at other stuff on the computer mm -hmm. i was kind of Maybe on the computer for an hour or two. I didn't get much done though. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. let's capture that on your schedule as well, yeah. scrolling through the computer. Okay. This schedule is going to capture the things that you actually did. I know that there are going to be times in which you planned to do something, yeah. but it didn't turn out the way you mm -hmm. want. What we want to do is um, write down the things that you actually ended up doing. Right, okay, okay. Was there anything else that you got up to at night? It's just like seems to be, now I'm writing it down, there's all this time here, but I didn't, I don't normally go to sleep until like 2 a.m., but I, mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't do anything else that day. I think I normally like after the computer, I, I would just kind of lay on the, oh no, I think I got into bed actually. Yeah, I was watching TV, but like on my laptop okay. and just, I, I guess I was watching that until I fell asleep but mm -hmm. the last I checked it was definitely after one so mm -hmm. yeah okay put that down as okay. well all right and once you get to the bottom of the page do make that note mm -hmm. that you went to sleep yeah. around one or two o'clock yeah okay okay mm -hmm. And the last thing I'll invite you to do, Olivia, is to, at the bottom of the page, put a rating for your overall mood for the day. Mm. I know that as you were going through the schedule and recalling some of the things that you did, that you had shared with me that points your mood wasn't too good. Mm. If you looked across the whole day and had to put a number out of 10 to represent your mood, 10 being the best mood that you've ever been in mm -hmm. and zero being the lowest mood that you've ever been in. Where would you put your overall mood for yesterday? Um, it wasn't the worst day mm -hmm. I've ever had, but um, maybe like a three, like it was definitely not a good, not a good day. Okay, so your mood was sitting fairly low yeah. for most of the day. Yeah. I invite you to put that at the bottom of oh, the page. Okay. Okay. So that we can start to look at patterns between your activities throughout the day and your mood. Okay. What was it like going through your Tuesday and trying to put your activities down on the page? Like I said, I, it's amazing that I had such difficulty remembering it given now it's all there on the page. I think I wasn't even, I didn't even do much mm. yesterday and it, I think I get to the end of the day a lot and just feel like, oh, like I meant to do all this stuff. I had I had this idea in mind about what I'd get done, and I, mm. I don't know. I don't feel great seeing. I was basically just in bed or watching TV for most of the day, but that's kind of how it is most mm. of the time for me right now. Mm. So, yeah. oftentimes people do. Um, 
comment on how overwhelming it can be to see on yeah. paper what their day and what their week looks like. Mm-hmm. And certainly, as um, we've talked about, with depression, sometimes there can be lots of empty gaps in our schedule mm-hmm. and that we can have lots of plans about what we want to do that don't turn out the way we want it to. One of the things that we will be working on in therapy is to be able to start reintroducing those different activities that have value and meaning to us. This activity schedule will help us to clarify a little bit about what's going on in your life at the moment so that we can look for those opportunities and so that I can support you to put some of those strategies in. How does it feel for you to have a go at that on your own for homework this week? Yeah, look, I'm happy to have a happy to have a go. I, I imagine most days will look pretty much the same, but mm-hmm. I, I think if I write it down as I go, I'll probably it'll be easier to remember. So yeah, yeah. I can I can have a go at that. Yeah. yeah, that's great. I really appreciate your willingness in giving it a try. Mm-hmm. Are there any strategies or any ideas that you have that can make the task a bit easier for you this week? Um, I'm I'm worried I might forget to do it some days Mm -hmm. because I'm, yeah, like you said, my my memory is not great. Um, Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to think where I could leave it that I might remember to do it. Um, I guess like... Like I said, I normally get out of bed to <laughs> go get food, so I could mm-hmm. either put it um, like by my bed or even on the on the fridge. I normally make myself a cup of tea in the morning, so I would pro- I would probably see it there, mm-hmm. and that would maybe remind me, I guess, to start it for the day. So. Okay, those are two great ideas about where you can put this worksheet yep. to prompt yourself to fill in the worksheet. Yep. As you might have noticed, it can be really difficult to remember what happened for you yesterday, let alone an entire week. Yeah. So I encourage you to have a go at perhaps setting a few minutes aside every day at a specific time of the day and either um, check in if it's on your bedside table or if it's on the fridge and have a go at filling it in. Does that sound manageable to you this week? Yeah, I'm happy to give that a go. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm really curious to find out what sorts of things you notice in your week when we come back to review it at next session.